I was putting my trust into them. Um, although in the back of my head, I felt it wasn't right. But I just didn't know what to do. No one wants to see people go missing and not return alive. The efforts to find 17-year-old Aiden Griefy and 16-year-old Dakota Brown last spring north of Merrill hit families, friends, and first responders physically, mentally, and of course emotionally. Since they were found dead a day and a half after getting lost in the Enterprise block of the Oneida County Forest, Seven Investigates has been getting requests to look into what happened. Our Emily Davies explains. During the search and after Aiden and Dakota were found, we had questions. You had questions. We wanted to understand what happened and if this could be prevented in the future. Then individuals with direct knowledge of the search efforts began to share their experiences and questions with us too. He would always tell them, be good to your mom. You never know. Be good to your mom. Mom, Rachel Griefy and Aunt Brianna Shear describe Aiden Griefy as a spirited, funny person who always was looking to help others. Knowing how he thinks of other people so much before himself, he wouldn't want to see that happen again. No. It's why they decided to share their experience, Aiden's story. I feel like he's, he is kind of pushing it away, like, yeah, make it known. As we look back at how we got here, reviewing dozens of reports, speaking to at least a dozen more people, analyzing timelines and accounting for the numerous factors involved in that April day, there is no one single place to lay blame. Instead, there are a series of opportunities missed by a variety of people. To begin, the party places them in the forest on the far edge of the county. The weather plunging from 80 and sunny to below freezing and snowy with high winds are obstacles in themselves. We've all been teenagers. You don't think of the consequences. You don't think this could happen to me. You don't think of the weather. I want kids to know that you need to consider everything. It put them at grave risk of hypothermia, which is ultimately what killed them. Your blood vessels are dilating. You're losing more and more heat, and you just can't regulate anything. And eventually, you know, your body systems start to slow down. Your heart rate slows down. You're not able to breathe as easy. You get confused. You know, you're not getting the action like you, you know, need in order for your brain to function. And eventually, you do pass if you have enough exposure time. The coroner calculated that with the levels at their times of death, they both still had alcohol in their system well above 0.08 when they left to search for Dakota's missing phone at 8 o'clock Sunday morning. Alcohol exacerbates the impacts from hypothermia, thinning the blood, but people can get a sense of warmth because it also dilates blood vessels, releasing heat from the body. You're going to get colder faster, and then the confusion on top of the alcohol, and then you're going to get more confusion on top of the hypothermia, so you're not able to make adequate decisions on top of it too, so it all plays a factor. Numerous people told us that forest is easy to get lost in. The signs at the entrance warn about the lack of signage. When seven investigates went to the scenes on a warm, clear November day, it took us a little while to figure out which trails we were on. I hunted down there for years. I myself have been turned around uh, back there. You're, you're looking at the topography. It goes from hilly to dense swamp with all the downfalls of trees. Unfortunately, they didn't stop walking when sending their friends their location that morning. Their friends say they drove Shingle Mill Road searching for them, honking their horns and yelling. None of the teens called 911. They had been missing for four hours before Aiden's mom was called. She called 911 shortly after arriving, but it took time to get there, and it took time for the first deputy to arrive for the same reason. We had a almost five hour delay from when they left until we were notified on Sunday, which given the weather did not help things. Could they have been found sooner? That is the question.